Paxton Romero picked it up. I have some comments on this stuff, but this is gonna even turn up the comments just a little bit more. Here is the winning interview with Axton Romero from the restricted class. Here he is, your winner from Saturday night at the Central Arizona Speedway. So, first win of your career? Yeah. What, have you run anything before this? Or? Yeah, I've ran Outlaw cars. Did you win a lot in that or no? Yeah. So, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to do this this year and then, or a few years? What are you trying I'm to do? I'm doing this for a few years and then I'm moving to Opens and then soon Sprint Cars. So, what do you want to do with racing? Do you just want to do Sprint Cars or what's your... I want to move up to NASCAR. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not going to be too mean here. This is a young kid. I'm not going to be mean to him because I don't blame him. I don't blame him at all. But this is the power of media. This is the power of media. This is the, the young kids that they go after and how they go after them. And it is with goats, idols. They don't want to be Rick Zeal. They don't want to be this guy or that, their local star. They don't want to be their daddy. I have a hell of a story with a sport modified and modified racer in the Dallas area before I started making all these videos. And this is, one of, this is a story that, uh, that got me going this route. He is a champion, this guy I'm talking about, in the dallas Fort Worth area. He is a local champion. He's driving that modified as fast as you can drive it. And you could put any damn NASCAR or Formula One racer out there in a modified, and he's going to wax his ass. And I'm over at his house one Sunday, and his son, about the same age as Axton, is watching the TV. And he goes, man, he's a huge Joey Logano fan. He looks up to him. He idolizes Joey Logano. And I'm sitting there saying, what the fuck? He don't want to be like his dad. A local champion. Anything like that. Because his dad isn't idolized or respected like old track champions used to be and winners. This new age deal, you're a nobody. The only ones that matter is this on-screen deal. Axton wants to be a NASCAR driver. Axton and this, this driver's son is in the plan. I don't want to be like daddy. I don't want to be like Rick Zeal. I don't want to be a, a, a big, big local dirt racer because there is none of those. I don't want to be a local dirt racer. I want to be NASCAR. I want to be Larson. I want to be Jeff Gordon. I want to be Jay-Z. I want to be Kardashian. Pop culture. They have put these idols, these stars, these pop culture phenoms and taken the youth and given them this dream. Idolize this. Want to be this. And I don't know about Axton's father, which I talked to for a brief, brief period. Is Axton going to feel like you let him down when you can't afford $5 million for a truck ride? Or $250,000 for K&N ride? Or $750,000 for an ARCA ride? It's unrealistic expectations. What is a realistic expectation, though, is making dirt racers great again. Having local celebrities in the dirt track racing world. Making race fans with our show that we put on. And getting these kids out of the, the, the manipulation and marketing schemes that this media empire has put on them. Get them back to respecting their local racer and idolizing them. And they might if people was coming out to see them and they were local celebrities and people that matter. But they're not, just like that guy back in Dallas who's a local champion, wins, uh, you know, 10, 15 races a year. And his kid, his own son, don't even look up to him. He looks up to Joey fucking Logano.
pop culture has fucked the world up. And we can do something about it by talking about it. That's the first step in any change in human history is talking about it. And that's all I'm doing. Yeah. 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 Yeah.